Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw Luca from the new Disney movie, Luca. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with Luca, we're going to begin right here with the face. So I'm going to begin right here, and we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to go over and come back up here, kind of like a big U-shape. Starting up here, I'm going to make two little lines that are going to come up. And then right along here, I want to make just a couple bumps just to show where his hair is going to be. So we're just going to make some little bump lines right around here just to kind of show where his hair is going to go. Now right inside of here, let's go ahead and draw his face. So starting over here, I'm going to begin by making a circle for an eye. We're going to leave some space and we'll make another circle over here for the other eye. Then right inside of here, I'm going to draw a black dot for the pupil. And over here, I'm going to make another black dot for the pupil here. Right here, I'm going to make a circle for one of the nostrils, and then we'll make another one here. And I'm also going to put a little sad face shape right above it for kind of like define the nose. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up and kind of like a smile. Then we want to curve it around and bring it up and down here for like a little smile. Next inside of here, I'm going to draw some lines that are just going to go up and down like this for some teeth. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up and it's going to come back around to a point for an eyebrow. And right over here we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to make a line that's going to go down, come to a point, and then back for another eyebrow. And then also in here we're going to add a little curved line for the tongue. Now starting down here we want to make his ears. So let's begin right here. We're going to draw a line that's going to go out and it's going to come back, kind of skinny. I'll draw another one that does the same thing, and one more right here. Let's do the same thing on this side. Let's make a line that's going to go out, that's going to come up. We'll do another one here, out and back up, and one more here. We'll go down and then up. Next, just connect each one of these with a small curved line, and do the same thing here, just a little curved line for the ears. Now, starting here, we're going to add just a couple little bumpy lines that are going to come up. And then we're going to add just a few more all around here. They're just going to get nice and tall up here. And you can make them different sizes. And then we're just going to connect them down here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw two little lines for a neck. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out for an arm, and then I'm going to make another line that's going to come out here for another arm. For this hand, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up, and then it's going to come back down for a finger. I'll draw another one that goes out and comes back for another finger. And one right here for that last finger. Starting here, we'll draw a line that's going to go down and then come up for the thumb. And then we'll just make a little line that's going to come back. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go out and then it's going to come back for a finger. I'll make one that goes down and up here, and one that goes down and up here. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down, and then it's going to come back up here for the thumb. 
and then we're going to make a little line that's going to come up here for the arm. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to come down. And then over here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down here. So it looks like his body's kind of turned. Right across here, we're going to make a little zigzag line for the top of his shorts. Next, we'll make a little line that comes across and another one underneath it. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out. We're going to make a few little zigzag lines on it, and then we're going to bring it up. And right here, we'll do the same thing. We'll go down, a few zigzag lines, and then we're going to come up. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down. I'll draw a line that's going to come up. I'll make another one that goes down and up. And one more that goes down and up. And then we'll draw a little line that comes up here. Right here we'll draw another line that goes out and then down. I'll make a little line that's going to come up. One more that goes down and up. And one more right here that goes down and up. And then we'll draw a little line right up here. Now one of the last things we want to do is add the tail onto him. So I'm going to start right over here. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come up here. I'm going to jump over the hand and I'm going to make the line come out here. Next we're going to round it off and I'm going to bring it back down and we'll bring it right to about here. Then right here I'm going to make a little line that's going to go up and down for like a little fin. And we'll add a few little lines on here too. And there you go, there is your drawing of Luca from the new movie, Luca. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.